Good morning and welcome to the fifth week of at-home instruction. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I can prevent um, you getting the glare off my glasses and um, I'm going to try really hard to give this without being able to maybe see. All right, so this video is for everybody. It's just kind of um, uh, a general message of what's been happening, what um, what kinds of things that I need to happen, and um, what you can look forward to this week for your um, lessons. So the first thing that I want to tell you is about technology. So I've gotten a few messages from people, hey, Mrs. Bruce, this video is blocked, or I don't have access, please give me access to this document. And I promise I am trying really hard to um, make everything accessible to everybody, but it is mostly my problem. I'm not a really tech technological person. Um, my knowledge of technology is, you know, limited. I'm still learning. I'm sure many of you know more about technology than I know. So if you ever have a problem um, with accessing anything, just make sure that you message me and say, hey, Mrs. Bruce, I need this. Um, don't get too concerned if I don't get right back to you. Um, this morning at 1015, I have um, a meeting with my pioneer satellite teachers and my supervisor, my superintendent, and the director of operations. So at 1015, I'll be on like a conference call at 1 or 1 30 today I also have um, a professional development on um, screencastify so last week I tried to use screencastify for your videos and I thought that it would be a better option and I was really excited but I'm really struggling with that technology and so today I'm going to take a professional development this afternoon to um, hopefully learn some more things and I make the videos better and 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 you know just to learn what I need to do to make this better for you. The second thing that I want to um, talk to you about is that I want you to keep the line of communication open. So some of you have gotten emails from me. Some of you are sending remind messages or dojo messages or um, a, a few of you have actually contacted me on my Google voice number. So there's lots of ways that you can contact me. Um, I just want you to keep the lines of communication open. I know that some of you are feeling frustrated with, hey, she didn't get that or it's not graded, it's not in the grade book yet. So just shoot me an email and say, hey, Mrs. Bruce, did you get this? Or I didn't understand why this wasn't right. Um, so I just think that communicating is the, the best way to, to know what's going on. As far as communicating your grades, I'm going to tell you that many of you um, passed in hard copies last Monday. And as of today, Tuesday, April 14th, I still don't have those copies um, because they have to be decontaminated. They have to be safe for everybody. And I might not get those till tomorrow. So that's one of the reasons why we are really going to a non-paper copy, um, just number one, for it to, to be safer, and number two, so that we can get your work a little bit quicker. So the third thing that I want to talk about is how are you going to turn in papers? Um, the very easiest way for me to see um, your work is if you attach it in Google Classroom or at least to a Google Doc and then share it to my Crestline Bulldogs account. Those are the two easiest. I admit that I was very eager to give you lots of ways to communicate with me, but what I didn't realize what was going to happen was that I was going to get messages on my phone through Remind or through Dojo, or I was going to get um, emails on my um, Crestline Bulldogs account, um, on, my, on my Pioneer account. I also, um, I, I have to look on Google Classroom. I'm looking in like four or five places for your assignments, and that doesn't even include the hard copies that I still have to get. So that's a lot of places to keep looking and digging and, hey, did this person turn this in or whatever? Um, so don't be frustrated, but um, if you could turn your work into two places, either the Google Classroom or if you could turn them into um, my, my Bulldog email, then um, 
I, I, I will only have two places to look for your, for your work. So um, if you have to take a picture of it, then um, just forward that picture to my Bruce.Chris, and that's K-R-I-S. So it's B-R-U-C-E dot K-R-I-S at CrestlineBulldogs.org. So um, that's how you can send them to me. All right. Um, so the, um, the fourth thing that I wanted to say is that we are all super busy. Um, I'm not trying to waste your time, and I want to make sure that you are understanding. Um, so this week, I want to show, I, I want to do things just a little bit differently. I know it seems like, gosh, Mrs. Bruce, you keep changing. I, I'm trying to adapt and to accommodate all different types of learners. So um, this week, uh, I'm going to make sure that I code everything so that you can definitely see what's happening this week for this week. And um, I'm also going to be doing some remediation and some review. So if you didn't get a fantastic grade on something, and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, she, she you know, said that I only did half of this. Then make sure that you're listening to the videos because I'm going to, I'm going to review what you should have had, what you should have done, um, what the answers are, why those are the answers. Um, so that if you didn't understand it, now you have the opportunity to understand it and to resubmit it for a better grade. So hopefully that's going to, that's going to be better. Um, I know that some of my longest videos are 18 minutes, um, but I generally have you for 45 minutes a day. Not this week, but most weeks I have you for five days a week. So um, that's like three hours and 15 minutes or three and a half hours of time a week. So um, I don't think an 18 minute video is too, too long. Anyway, if you have any questions, you let me know. And um, as soon as I get papers from the school and I know who's turned in hard copies, then I will be um, looking for uh, people that have not turned anything in. And unfortunately, there are um, a few, few of those people. Right now with electronic copies, I only have about 18% of the work turned in that I should have. That's about... Um, one in every five assignments. So for every five assignments I give, I'm getting one back, which is not really a fantastic uh, percentage. So I have to find out, was it because you turned in hard copies and I just need to get those? Or are people not looking on Google Classroom, not getting the messages? So um, I might be calling, I might be calling just to say hi too. So um, don't freak out if I give you a call. All right, super have um, a great day, and I will be posting your assignments and more videos later on. Bye.